Hello, it's Patrick here from thegaragebandguide.com. Welcome to Garage Band Q and A, the video series where you, the viewer, submit your Garage Band questions and queries, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you would like to submit your own Garage Band question, leave a comment below or get in touch on Facebook or Twitter. This time I'm going to answer a question that I have been asked dozens of times by loads of different people over the years, and that is how to reverse audio in GarageBand. So until very, very recently, this wasn't something you were able to do in GarageBand itself, and usually I would be directing people to other programs in order to do this, usually Audacity. If you haven't heard of Audacity, it's a free program that you can download for your Mac. Um, it's fairly, kind of similar to GarageBand, but not really as full featured in terms of uh, recording features and things. But something it can do is reverse audio. So what I would suggest to people to do is load up your piece of audio into Audacity, use the reverse function you can find in the effects menu it has there. And then export that audio out and import it into your GarageBand project. Which, while totally getting the job done, is quite a few hoops to jump through. Now, the good news is with the latest update to GarageBand uh, version 10.1, Apple have actually added in a reverse function. There are a couple of caveats here. Uh, now, this function has been lifted wholesale from Apple's other recording software, Logic Pro 10. And just like the function in Logic Pro 10, the reverse function will only work on an uncompressed file format. So that means WAV files are fine, uh, AIFF files are fine, which is Apple's uncompressed file format. MP3s won't work for this. So if you have a bunch of MP3s in your iTunes library that you would like to reverse, that isn't going to happen, unfortunately. They need to be an uncompressed file format for this to work. So it's pretty straightforward. With the track selected that you want to reverse, open the editor window. So you can either click the scissors icon in the top left-hand corner of the garage band window or use the keyboard shortcut. Now choose Region from the menu at the top there and check the Playback in Reverse box. And that will switch the waveform round, it will reverse your audio and your audio can now be played back in Reverse. And there you have it, that's how you can reverse your audio in GarageBand 10.1. I hope that helps you out guys, remember if you would like to submit your own GarageBand flavoured question, leave a comment in the comment section below or get in touch on Facebook or Twitter. The links for those are down in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next GarageBand Q&A.